we're back outside, went out the front. Now we're gonna check out some of these out buildings. Careful, yeah, I was gonna say stand back because it's gonna snap back. All right, and this is clearly collapsing. <laughs> Not an extremely large trailer. Let's see if there's anything left behind. So far the uh, drawers are looking empty. Definitely some flies. Yeah, cupboards are empty as well, up front at least. Maybe see if there's anything in here. Honestly, a decent size uh, ceiling. I like the extra vents at the top there. And then here in the little ventilated bottom here. Looks like that's it up there. The floor feels mushy. Yeah. Definitely not this one feels in good great. shape. Oh. An abandoned fly swatter. Definitely could use it. There's a lot of flies on this trailer. <laughs> Pristine condition. Look at that fly swatter. That's huge. Yeah. We got uh, lots of natural light. <laughs> it's for uh, people who don't want to spend too much money on their electricity. Not my way of going green, but to yeah, each their own. I, mean, I think this whole place causes hazard, not just that area now. Oh, this is pretty soggy in here too. I don't know if we're gonna make it the whole way without having to go outside. Oh, this is so dangerous. So, I traversed all the way around the soggy part. And you see more natural lighting right there. And uh, great uh, still intact mirror there. As you can clearly see those are raccoon paws all over the mirror. They probably were wondering what in the world they were looking at. This is ready to go through. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, we're more solid here. Definitely lots and lots of mud and or probably raccoon feces, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to wash everything thoroughly after we're done with this location. I think I hear more raccoons somewhere. I'm not... Let's hope they are not uh, rabid raccoons. Uh, we're we're going to be running here. Oh man. I think well, we might have gotten ourselves into a little bit more than uh, we intended to with this location. We might be dealing with some very wild and angry animals here shortly because I hear raccoon noises coming They're in, in the hot. Or yeah. One of the drawers. They might be underneath the trailer too. They might have uh, found their way down beneath as soon as we came in. Oh, I hear a dog. Let's hope there's not an angry farmer here. We don't like to disturb the wildlife, uh, especially when there's babies, because the uh, parents are going to be, you know, ten times as aggressive. So we just wanted to leave them alone, and now we got plenty of other buildings to explore. So we're going to head into the next ones. Well, I'm not seeing the raccoons on this side let's uh go and take a look at some of these other buildings see what we can find oh neat so this was definitely a typical farm workshop area. See a filter from a carburetor, some reflectors from different uh, vehicles. I see a welder's mask on the table there.
That's a neat old piece of machinery right there. Anybody know what that is? It almost looks like some sort of press. As if uh, something would be sitting on here and then this little piston would come down. So, I don't know. Comment below if you have any clue what any of it is, as always. We always love you guys' input. Uh, it's great to learn. We never claim to be experts on everything that we see. We are definitely not car experts. Uh, we're definitely not experts on history, although I'd like to say I'm at least a hobbyist. But uh, any input you guys can give, we always, always appreciate. So don't uh, feel shy. Uh, feel free to put any input in that you'd like and uh, let us know anything that you see. Years and years of accumulating tools, parts, plans, know-how. Hmm, what's a trick to this one? I don't want to break it, but... Someone like to hang out here. 14 years have gone by. No one's cared. You gotta go through Narnia to get there. Complete bird, hen house, chicken house. Had to be. And then later use, looks like towards the end of it when they didn't have any birds anymore, they use it for storage. I don't know if I feel safe stepping on it. It doesn't look that bad. But if you don't have to, it's not worth it. Had a well, ventil well ventilated spot here, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna try to go down here. Okay. All right, I don't want to spend too much more time in here. Like I said. You get a lot of disease from the area where birds are. Luckily that was well ventilated. I wasn't too worried about it, but still don't really want to spend much more time in there touching stuff. Wow, I'm really happy about this location. This has just been pretty stellar. I think this piece of farm equipment right here might be currently in use. I'm not gonna touch it. We'll just kind of let that sit. <laughs> One thing, I don't know, maybe it's just Maybe it's just the child in me, but I always love the large tires. Uh, I'm a little bit uncomfortable about this part. A little bit out in the open. I know there's no signs here, but I always feel a little bit nervous. I think that's important. These old barns always sound epically creepy. like some insulation of some sort right there.
there's a few other buildings we can check out. I do apologize, it's gonna be a little bit windy. Again, I am upgrading uh, my wind protection here shortly to uh, actually having some, so that will be a good thing. All right, now I'm gonna try to climb this with the camera in hand. It feels pretty sturdy so far. Lots of nails inside of these parts of the ladder, so these steps of the ladder. <laughs> I wasn't actually so worried about falling through. The wood seems still pretty hard there, and <laughs> there's tons of nails. I mean, whoever built this was j just as worried as I was about falling through, or uh, falling right there. Wow, this is awesome. Boards look in pretty good shape still. Even though they've been getting rained on, clearly snowed on. It's like old snowmobile or sled right there. Or bumper car or something, amusement ride piece, I don't know. Fuel pieces of equipment here. I'm gonna try to get up on this upper piece, upper deck here, and get to the other side. Man, whoever was out here, I mean, they had buildings and places for everything. I mean, here you go. I would, would have loved to inherit a space like this. Who wouldn't? Okay, this is really bad. This is ready to go. I gotta be careful. I got my hands on the boards above me. I'm not just walking on this, guys. Okay, I made it. Some of these boards are actually looking kind of rotted, so I'm gonna stay away from those. But still, they look pretty good. Even this huge board right here. More equipment storage. This has been a really great explore, great location. Uh, so many different um, buildings, so many different, uh, you know, knickknacks and things here and there kind of telling the story. That's what we really love. We always want to tell the story. We want, you know, to try to put the pieces together. Okay, I made it back down to the bottom. Now I'm feeling like I've worn out my welcome. And I would like to get out of this big barn now. All right, everybody. Well, I want to give you a big thank you for watching the video, and if you did like the video, uh, we'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and make sure to uh, share it on your favorite social media network. Also, I uh, wanted to uh, take a chance to ask you guys if you haven't checked out our Facebook account, uh, please uh, head over there and check that out. If you like uh, Facebook, uh, you can uh, hit like on our page, and uh, you can get updates there instead of. Uh, through the YouTube notifications or through your phone. Uh, also, I, I, if you guys hit the uh, notifications bell, you'll be notified on your phone and an email immediately whenever we have a new video. And as always, we'd like to thank all of our incoming subscribers, all of the new people that have uh, joined into the 539 Adventures 
and uh, look forward to much more uh, abandoned locations just like this amazing old farm. Uh, as always, we uh, upload at least once a week, uh, and I try to make as many weeks as possible multiple uploads. So we're looking uh, forward to a day when we're getting you guys uh, daily content. Thanks again for watching the video, and as always, have a good one, everybody.